my suburban family how are you how is it in your neighborhood today hopefully it's blessed so today mommy is making a little pudding a little sweet potato pudding so just sit back relax and enjoy this video and again share like and most of all subscribe so I'm gonna get into what you need as ingredients so right there we have three pounds of red sweet potato you can use yellow sweet potato which is usually what they use which is the best one but this is what we have on hand so that's three pounds minus the peel we have one cup of flour baking flour and they're both sifted the flour and the one cup of cornmeal then you have one egg then you have some country crop margarine the light one you can use whatever you have we have this on hand we have grated coconut which this will help to make the milk and we're going to save some of the trash for the actual pudding itself right in this plate here we have ginger you see the ginger that's ginger this is some grated coconut uh, not cocoa sorry not coconut this is grated cocoa yes this is good things we have vanilla we have rose water or almond water there yes not sponsored by Ro royal rose but you need a pack of any of your favorite coconut milk powder in here we have some baking powder some meat spice and cinnamon in this one here we have salt and nutmeg we have two cups of sugar brown sugar best sugar and we have just a couple of raisins that have been soaked in some white rub you can soak it in any other spirit but we soak it in white rub and of course you need a good old pudding pan here yeah? pudding pan all right Ooh. and of course you need some boiling water I almost forgot that Two. to help to dissolve the, the, the milk coconut milk. milk powder and also to form the milk from the coconut itself so come along are you ready if you're ready give it a thumbs up and give your girl a comment because commenting is vital so right about now we're going to be dissolving the sugar into the natural coconut milk as you can see yes so you just use a spoon or whatever and we're going to put in all of our spices in the natural coconut milk. That's the rose water and almond. Yeah, the rose water and almond. And we're going to add the vanilla. Yes. See, a tablespoon. And a half. Yes, and then we're going to add our salt and nutmeg now. And we're going to add all of the baking powder and the cinnamon and the meat spice. Yes, as you see. And all we're going to do is give it a little spin. I'm going to try help mama with this part here. Let's try it. Yes, you see the coloring change? Yes, just make sure all of it gets dissolved. So 
we're going to add the dissolved um well not all of it just a sum of the dissolved pack coconut milk so you see not all see yes and you just stir it and make sure that everything gets dissolved so we're going to put the three pounds of potato in the container Yes, you, you again hear those dings. Meanwhile, when you subscribe, just press that notification and put it to the settings all to be notified when we upload another video. So we're adding the cocoa now, as you can see, the cocoa. I'm going to add the ginger. We're going to just combine it I'm going to mix out the flour and the cornmeal in before we add it to that okay we're going to mix out the flour and the cornmeal basically combine them together so we're just going to use dissolve this first yes yeah, so we're going to just do it at a time you see going to add in the coconut the natural coconut flakes or the other word for it is coconut trash it's not trash because the milk is in it still yeah the milk is still in there but it's not trash so we're going to put combine the mixture of the flour and the cornmeal that was dissolved in the coconut milk mixture we did this process separately just to make sure that the coconut the the coconut water I mean not the coconut water the coconut milk helped to make out all of the flour yes you see see that lovely color there it's like a mocha color this mom is going to add in the, the coconut meat you know the liquid Yes, because pudding is a moist, baked item. Comment below. Do you like sweet potato pudding or do you like cornmeal pudding? Like, sound off in the comments below. The one beaten egg. Yes, right. Again, remember, crack the egg in a separate container or dish to make sure that it is as fresh as possible. Yes, you see it's coming off. We're going to be doing the raisins. Earlier I said well, a cup of raisins, but not a cup of raisins as it is quite obvious that this is not a cup, but this is just a handful you can use as in as much as you want or as little as you want but we're just using a handful so right now mom is gonna and remember it's been soaking in rum here and then so what mommy gonna do is use the flour and mix it up in it because when you mix it up in it it um you can use it doesn't sink down to the bottom of the pudding here so you just do it just like how you just saw mommy do it and see my pan is lined with what paper or grease paper whatever you want to call it so mommy's just sieving off the excess flour off of the raisins because this is just to prevent it from sinking just like that now we're adding it to the mixture 
and we're gonna combine it. Okay, I'm gonna help mommy out with this part again. See, you just combine it. Just like so, see? You can't even find one now, see? None of them are visible. We're going to be pouring in our pudding. Mixture. Pudding mixture, and you see that consistency? That is what we would like, you see it? Mm. If you can smell it, you'll be, you'll be very good. Now, Suburban Mom is going to put in a dab of country crock in on the top as you can see so sorry for that but you get the gist yeah just put it on to the top looks like you just put in the dabs of country crock margarine on top and we're gonna put it in a preheated oven of 350 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit which you can do the conversion so sorry and then at the end you'll see the finished product we and we will tell you how long it took to make stay tuned and putting it on the middle shelf it has been 30 minutes now um, since it's been in the oven baking and right about now we're going to be adding um, the real coconut milk and the packaged one that I dissolved um, with sugar dissolved and we're going to put it on top right now so that's what mommy's going to do so this is what she's going to do because we want our pudding to be nice and moist. So we're gonna just push it back in the oven now and we're gonna wait again to see how long it's gonna to take to set. So it has been an hour and 15 minutes since the pudding has been in the oven. So mom is gonna check with a knife. You can use a bamboo skewer or one of those long toothpicks or even a chopstick you can use. Yes. It is ready. It is ready. You see how moist and the soft jelly. it is? It looks good, right? It's real good. So we're going to take it out of the oven. So now we're going to take it out of the oven for it to cool down. So here it comes. And yes, that's just a breakfast I put in the oven. So the next morning, we decided to cut into the pudding. So mommy's cutting it, as you see. Yes, you see that moisture? Yes, it is finally fully cooled. Yes, mommy's trying to cut it. And she's gonna taste it. She's gonna taste our creation. And yes, mommy's sweating like a hot today because she's excited. You taste Words. this and let me know. I, I think it's okay. So I'm gonna go taste it. The same slice, cause why not? 
So here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. Not too sweet and good to me. This is a good dish. Good effort. Good effort, mommy, on your pudding. And I hope it will be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> All right. So this is your girl, suburban girl and suburban mom saying thank you for watching and please do subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I upload videos which I will try to be more consistent with and please like and comment 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 please I need comments thank you very much and enjoy the city love you